zippity doo -da. beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. So, um, as you saw in uh, the last couple of videos or so, um, you saw that offline marketing way performs online marketing, at least when it comes down to our response rates, right? Now, it doesn't mean that we don't want to use the internet. We definitely want to use the internet technology. There's no way possible that we would have enough money or enough time in our day to be able to uh, broadcast our message to 200,000 people within a 30-day period in our small business, right? But we can do that on the internet. So that's why I say that the internet is effect or is efficient, it's just not as effective. It's not gonna pull in the same type of numbers that offline marketing will. So if you look down below directly underneath this video, you'll find a link, you wanna click on that link, it's gonna open up a page like what you see in front of you. And we're gonna go through some different ideas and some different ways to start, um, start finding some businesses that we can that we can work with okay so without me explaining too much more of this let's just go ahead and, and get down into it and this is going to be a phone script okay so as you saw in that that graph there that the telephone is the most effective way to do this and what you're going to do is we're going to find partners and businesses that we can work with where they will pay you in order for you to send out direct mail to your perfect prospects okay and they're gonna pay you for that but in many cases you might even decide to, to to get a little bit more from them so that you can actually make a profit from your direct mail imagine that uh, other businesses are paying you in order for you to advertise to your business imagine doing that so here's how we do that so uh, again, first of all, we looked at you know who is your who are some of the businesses that you want to work with. Preferably, this is going to be somebody within a, a local area, and uh, depending on how local this is, depending on on how personal that you want to get. So let's you know you pick up your phone, you start calling some of these businesses, and um, you know if you don't know their name hopefully you do know their name uh, the script is really written for those of you who do know their name hi is this Bob you know especially if you work with Bob all the time you know hey hey Bob you know you just want to talk to him normally and naturally but anyway so what we want to do here is uh, uh, so uh, if you don't know their name or you know you want to ask who who do I need to talk to for this, right? But if you do know their name, um, you just want to follow the script as it is. So, hi, is this Bob? Hi, my name is Chris, owner of XYZ down on Main Street. Oh, yeah, I know that place. You know, so you build, build a little bit of rapport right there, right? Um, from there, here is a very critical question. Um, it's a lot of times overlooked. It doesn't look very important in business, in, in psychology. There's a thing in that is called as the uh, Socratic method. And one of the things in the Socratic method is minor agreements and major agreements. You want to get people to say yes uh, ideally, um, you want to get people to say yes seven times. And if you can get them to give you a minor agreement, which is just saying yes, they're going to be more likely to make a deal with you or buy your products and services or whatever it, it is. And that's something that is really deep into psychology. However, a lot of lawyers definitely know this, but a, a lot of salespeople also know this too. So first thing that you want to ask them is, can you hear me okay? Now the reason I'm calling is because I have an idea where both of us can make make a, make a profit. Uh, and then you want to scroll down. And they're going to realize this, you know, but you're just going to say, now I don't have time right now, but, uh, you know, because they're going to understand this as business owners, you're busy, they're probably busy as well. And so you'll just say, now I know uh, I don't have any time right now. But I would like. But would it be okay if I sent you an email, and then we could talk uh, when you and I both have some time? What would be the best email address to send this to? Okay, I'll give you a call in a couple of days and see where we can go from here. Okay, 
Now, I know this script is kind of vague, vague, so let's just go through it again real quick. Hi, is this Bob? Hi, Bob, this is Chris, owner of XYZ down here on Main Street. Oh, yeah, hey, how's it going? Perfect. Can you hear me okay? Oh, yeah, I can. Good, good. Now, the reason I'm giving you a call today, Bob, is because I have an idea where both of us can make a profit. Now, I don't really have too much time right now, but would it be okay if I sent you an email and then we could talk when, when both you and I have some time? Oh, sure, that would be fine. What would be the best email address to send this to? Um, Bob at BobSmith.com. Okay, uh, I'll send that out, give you a couple days to look it over and see where we can go from here. Is, let's say, Tuesday at 1 o'clock good for you? Yeah, that's good. Okay, talk with you then. Then what you want to do is, uh, and uh, I filmed a, a special video for you on this. So, first of all, um, you, you have an email, you know how to send an email. And what you just want to do is you just want to copy this email for, for you, okay? Um, just here's, I've already created the email. The only thing that you're going to do is once you go ahead and copy it. So let me show you how you copy. And uh, you can put your cursor right there. Oh, and uh, let me actually open up my email. Now let me kind of walk you through this. Okay, I cloud so let me go into my iCloud and um, I'll show you exactly how we go ahead and, and send this out it's taking a second here just to look. okay so uh, let's now go into my mailbox and we're going to compose an email so uh, I'm going to use this with one of my clients I've already talked to you about him and uh, I'll just use this with Sam because I need the this is this is something that me and Sam were talking about here over the last couple of days anyway. Um, no, I'll send, I'll send this to John just so you get to see somebody else. I'll send it to Sam as well. But let me go ahead and click on Compose. And, okay, and let me minimize this and come back over here to my document. Okay, so this is my document. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor here. And I'm going to show you how to how to copy in case you don't know how to do this. Copy and paste. So you put your cursor there, right? And you hold down your left mouse button. You drag it all across. And then you put your cursor on top of it. And on your keyboard, uh, chances are it's going to be on the bottom row closest towards you. And on, on the corner there, on the far left-hand corner, there's a button that says CTRL, stands for control. So hold down that button. While you're holding down that button, press the letter C, and that will do what is called as copy, okay? And because I know some of you are new, and so, you know, that way you get to see, uh, see how to do this. So uh, let me go ahead and I'll send this. I'll, I'll just send this to Sam because I need to talk to him about this anyway. So I'm going to put Sam's email address in here. And then I'll type it R conversation. And then I will paste this. And then here, from here, this is where you're going to edit some of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put their name. So Sam, it was a pleasure talking with you today. Here is the email I said I would send you. First of all, watch this video. And there's a video you can watch. I want you to go ahead and watch that too. And then at the bottom here, uh, contact us at... Okay, and then you can go ahead and send that out. That's the next step. Okay. So now, whoops. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you scroll down the page. So you've sent out the email. Now this is where you have your follow-up phone call. It's pretty simple. Um, 
and you know follow so hey is this Bob hey Bob this is Chris make some small talk you know hey how's business or whatever uh, build up a little bit of rapport you want to ask them hey can you hear me okay perfect now the e now you can also send them the uh, the link to the video uh, in an e in a send them the uh, the video in a text if you want to but here can you hear me okay yes I can perfect now the email or text I sent you chances are it's going to be an email the email I sent you uh, what was your favorite part and you want to get them the feedback you don't want to ask them do you like it or any other thing like that that's our yes or no question uh, again in sales you never want to ask a person that you don't know the answer to so instead you want to ask them what was your favorite part what made the most sense to you and they're going to tell you what they liked about it not what they didn't like about it just in case now and then here's how you want to continue with this now uh, I, i'm only looking for 10 local businesses i'm talking with with 15 of your competitors though okay so you want them to, to know that this is a limited opportunity but i'm also talking with your competitors you can throw in any numbers that you you want uh, be truthful with this you know don't lie <laughs> please you know but you know you want to kind of you, you want to create what is called in psychology fear of loss okay and then you want to say so then you want to say i only have one spot for and then whatever the industry so i only have one spot for dentists so whoever is the first dentist to get started I'll have to turn down every other dentist okay so bob we're sending out a thousand packages to the area for only 20 for only 15 bucks that's a savings of 150 dollars okay when can you get my when can you get uh get me get i meant to say me get me your marking material and then depending on the situation you might go ahead and say uh i'll stop by and pick it up and then and then after that you want to continue and say i'll send you an agreement so that that so that you'll have the confidence working together and you can pay me that okay then uh i'll, I'll start running the campaign on november 15th okay i'll send out the contract and give you a call, call tomorrow at two o'clock okay and then you go from there so let me just go through the script real quickly again um, hi is this bob hey bob this is chris uh, we talked the other day can you hear me okay perfect uh the email i sent you out of what you saw what was your favorite part Oh, I really like this part in the video. Okay, perfect. Now, Bob, I'm only looking for 10 local businesses. I'm already talking to 15 of your competitors. So I only have one spot for dentist. Uh, so every, er, er, so whoever is the first dentist to get started, I'll have to turn down every other dentist, okay? Now, Bob, we're sending out a thousand packages to the you know, celebration area for only 25 bucks that's a savings of 150 bucks when can you get me your your marketing material okay perfect i'll stop by uh, maybe to later today and pick it up i'll also send you an agreement and that way you'll get and have the confidence working together and you can give me the check then okay perfect i'll send you the contract and give you a call tomorrow perfect and then you just go from there now i've already sent you showed you how you send out the email now i'm not going to go through the contract in this video we're going to do that in another video um, because we're running closely here about 15 minutes or it's about 13 minutes and 40 seconds right now so what i want to do is what you want to do then is you want to send out this email but you also want to send out the contract but we're going to talk about that in our next video okay but take care everyone have a great day and we'll see you in our next video bye bye now